This week's course is PB Dive River Course at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia. This course is way away from DC. It is a solid four to five hour drive. It's once you get down 81 and you get down to Blacksburg, it's still like a good half an hour to an hour off of 81 to get there. Uh, it's, it's rather convoluted. Luckily, I went down there during COVID and there wasn't that much uh, traffic in, on the Virginia Tech campus or in the area. It still was a pain to get on and off 81. But the course is a slope 149 course, 145, 149 course from the back to use. And actually, um, I just happened to be down there coming up from um, the Bear Trace in, in uh, Tennessee. And I actually found several courses that I want to play, so I may have to go back down there again in a week or two. Uh, but this one is, <clears throat> let's just say, yeah, I think it was 7,600 yards from the back tee, slope 145 or 149, I forget which. Um, but unfortunately, when I went to play, they did not have the back tees open. They were like, oh, they're the tournament tees. You know, we don't have those open normally and so forth. And, and of course, I rolled down to the first tee and it's, you know, open. The black tees are there. The first, I think, out of 18 holes, probably 15 of them had the black tees up and running. And they're not that much farther back than the maroon tees, which are the next ones, which are, and I think that's 7,100 yards from the maroon tees. And that is slope 140, 141. Now, the course was interesting in a way and not interesting in another way. It's a very flat course. Uh, it runs along the side of a river under a fairly upscale development with some construction going on. And when I played, I got a hot, uh, hot tea, hot, what is it? Hot now or something, I forgot exactly. Um, uh, tea time at 11.30. And of course they were doing some maintenance on the course. It, they had greenskeeper running around on a couple of the holes. Um, you hear mowing from like most of the whole front side. You hear this greenskeeper, and, and it's just, and they're mowing this immense amount of grass off to the side of the course under the houses. Not really in play per se, but still, you know, just there's one guy with a leaf floor and, one, and, the, and the guy who was doing the greenscaping. So some noise, but not a lot of noise. And it was something of an irritant, but not a huge problem. The basic problem with this course, I would say, is that First of all, it's a PB die course, so you know it's going to have some elevated greens. It had a lot of elevated greens, although there were some compromises on this course in the sense that there was at least a playable fairway to green option, but usually not on the line from the main part of the fairway. Usually you'd have to take a, like a dog leg or a half circle to get to the, um, to, the to look down the, fair, the green as opposed to be playing um, from the short side of the green to the, to the pin. Uh, when you have these elevated greens, um, you really don't want to be playing from the short side to the pin unless you're you know, literally um, dropping, bombs right on, I mean, dropping balls right on the pin. It almost always has a very narrow part um, playing to the pin directly from the fairway and then it drops off you know, five this course is, this was no different than the PB die course in, um, sorry, in uh, Maryland near Little Bennett. We had significant drop offs on the back side of the greens and some fescue and so forth around the greens. So it was, it was definitely a challenge uh, for the short game, but it wasn't really a challenge for the long game. I think that the one thing about this course is because it was flat, mostly flat, and um, the course is a figure eight around the clubhouse. Like you go to the one side of the clubhouse, you go right up the figure eight and back around counterclockwise. Then you come to the other side of the clubhouse and you go again right out to, um, I think the uh, ninth or 10th hole and it crosses over 
goes back around to the top and then comes back around the right side, comes back down the left side looking from the clubhouse. So it's a figure eight within a figure eight on that back side. But the main challenge on this course is you don't hit into the water off the tee, and even then, that is only half the hole. So um, that's one thing. You get past that. It's not hard. You just have to hit in the play, and it's not hard. Uh, the sand traps are not really extent extensive, and there's not a whole lot of fescue out there, but there's some fescue out there. So that leaves you with the approach shots and the short game, and that's where the real, I would say, meat and potatoes of this course is. You can say it's flat, you can say it's boring, but you definitely have to have a short game to play it. I mean, there's there's no way around it. If, if all you want to do is go out there and hit long drives and um, not worry about your short game, this is not your course because pretty much every shot uh, is mostly, you know, play safe into the fairway and then go from there to the green. And if all you really care about is hitting long drives, there's no point in coming down and playing this course. It, it's not a bad looking course, especially when the leaves are changing. But the greens were recently aerated. Another course that had aerated the greens in some time in September. And these were not well, uh, a good result. They were very hard greens that had stubbles of grass. Again, another one of those aerations. Where the grass did not quite spread out properly. And you had stubbles of grass sticking up over a very hard, um, I would say, dirt rolled in and, and sanded dirt um, substrate. So it was like the greens were fast, but not smooth. And they tracked okay in like the general sense, but there's no real precision. So it, it, was, it was just annoying to play. Um, balls would just roll forever and they wouldn't go straight. You know, what the first couple of little, I'd say mushroom heads that they hit, it just, track off slightly different than what you aimed. It was a very difficult course to putt, but, um, and at the same time, if you chipped up and you got lucky enough to put a ball near the pin, it was okay. So I wouldn't say it was great putting at all. Definitely not nearly as good as the Bear Trace or the course I played before that, which was uh, Paddles, was it Paddlesack Ridge? Yeah, in, um, in, um, Virginia, up I-81 from there. I think it's Harrisonburg. Played. Those greens were really nice to put on, and even though they weren't completely green all across, they were really nice to put on, and to come back to a course to a set of greens like this was really a letdown. The course was not hard per se, but you do have to have a pair of cojones around the greens on your approach shots. Uh, you have to be able to chip. You have to be able to play out of um, moderate um, rough and not get scared of fescue or water. If, if you can't play a good short game on this course, you're, you're dead. It's just hopeless. Um, but other than that, it was a nice um, looking course. Uh, it, it certainly was a decent outing, but I did get kind of bored and drift off from the back nine. And um, it really, really, you know, nine times out of 10, I would say if you're gonna play you know, 80 shots, you know, and you're, you're hitting 18 tee shots, there's the par threes, which are reasonably a, a challenge, but um, par four, par five, it's like, okay, you know, get in a fairway and, and move on. Um, get your approach shots on and, and get on the green and putt out, you know, and move on. It, it just got to be a little bit monotonous, you know, um, though there was a decent amount of peril out there. I, would, I still would rate it as more like a um, a B-level course at best. It had a really nice clubhouse, though. Um, definitely upscale uh, clubhouse, um, mahi-mahi style kind of place. Uh, and um, But it had this one bogus thing about it, which was that the... Um, and this is where it was bad, that it actually was a nice clubhouse because it had a lot of... Um, couples or families, you know, husband and wives would come down and eat lunch or dinner at the clubhouse, but they take up all the spaces in the parking lot outside the clubhouse. And now the way they have the parking lot is they have two separate parking lots. One has about 30 or 40 spaces right out in front of the clubhouse. 
and then you have to walk all the way up this hill you know to pass where the, the driving range is and you technically are not supposed to take carts up there but of course a lot of people did anyway they're like um you know carts are banned in the parking lot and it's blazed right by it it's it's such a it probably is two stories uh above the the lower parking lot that, you, that the upper parking lot is there's a big parking lot up there and and when the bottom lot fill, bottom lot fills up you just have to go up there and park there's no way around it so you you have to walk up there and down or you have to you know go get a cart and take it up there surreptitiously it was just kind of a pain in the ass i thought that that was one of the problems with it that was more than anything else it was really juvenile uh jv level that it had such a nice clubhouse really nice clubhouse but no parking almost you know virtually no parking at the place and you you really have to be careful when you go there to um to deal with that but other than that the course was yeah you know it was like a b b minus i i really can't say it was that great i mean i'd, I'd give it a, a a generous b and um while the scenery is nice i think we've got a better place to go kayaking or boating or something than to play golf really it just did was not an inspiring location for a golf course unless you were in your 60s or 70s and just happy to be out playing so um or and certainly it wasn't you know the kind of course that was easy for a beginner to play um it wasn't hard necessarily to drive into the fairway but the greens on this course require some skill and experience to survive let's put it that way so a b overall i will say that's pb die river course at virginia tech in blacksburg virginia